Belgium increases its terror threat level after police killed two people during a raid on suspected Islamic radicals. I'm Olga Villaverde. This story tops your Newsmax Now update. A third man was detained during that raid. Officials say they're targeting terrorists on a grand scale. This just a week after Islamic gunmen killed 17 people in Paris. Now, this is amateur video of that operation. Witnesses say they heard explosions and gunfire for several minutes. Belgian officials believe weapons used in the Paris terror attacks were bought in a neighborhood near Brussels. Here in the U.S., President Obama touts his new initiative aimed at offering mandatory sick days to American workers. One of the biggest problems that we have is that there are 43 million Americans who don't get paid sick leave, which, you know, when you think about it, it's a pretty astonishing statistic. President Obama says that without his newly proposed programs, Americans are forced to choose between taking care of themselves and sick family members or a paycheck. House Speaker John Boehner speaks out today about two separate Ohio plots. First, he hopes the bartender charged with threatening to poison him gets the mental help he needs. And then the Ohio Republican credited the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Program for preventing an attack in Washington, D.C. The first thing that strikes me is that we would have never known about this had it not been uh, for the FISA program and our ability to collect information on people who pose an imminent threat. The new GOP-led Congress will try and reauthorize their surveillance program in the coming months. In Boston, traffic is back up and running. This after protesters took to a major highway in that city earlier today. Take a look. People stuck their arms into holes cut in barrels and then apparently had cement poured in. They say they were protesting the deaths of African Americans at the hands of police. And now a new Reuters poll shows that one in three Americans think police routinely lie to serve their own interests. 45% of African Americans agree. Now, while distrust is significant, that same poll found that 56% of African Americans actually approve of their local police. Former Navy SEAL Chris Kyle was killed on a gun range back in 2012 by a man he was trying to help. Before his death, Newsmax TV had a chance to talk with the former Navy SEAL about his life story, the inspiration for the Hollywood film American Sniper. I'm trying to get people to take it another step forward. Let's show them things. And it's just little random acts of kindness, whether you want to mow their yard or babysit so they can go on a date or take a nap, cook them a meal. If you just show them thank you, it'll blow them away, and it means a whole lot more than just thank you. Tune into Newsmax TV tomorrow as we revisit that interview with Kyle. And that was your latest Newsmax Now update. Remember to stay connected right here to Newsmax.com. I'm Olga Villaverde.